What is going on guys, it's Tom of Gaming HD here and welcome to this F1 career mode. Now I know it's been a while since the last video and apologies for that, I've recently moved into a flat with my girlfriend and we were just sorting out the move and everything like that. Now I've finally got some time to get this video out there to the public. So here we are in Bahrain, our first race we managed to finish in the points with Simplex Racing. We uh, got two points on the board I believe or three points, I'm not too sure. We finished eighth, I think that's three points. So we did pretty well considering we qualified in 17th in that Grand Prix, but here we are in Bahrain uh, taking the circuit and evidently we seem to have a very slow pace in qualifying, but decent race pace. I don't know if that's just due to the, um, the AI or it's due to the fact that I'm absolutely rapid. But we did well in the last race, uh, managing to, to get towards the points. But here we are, like I say, in Bahrain, doing our qualifying lap. Now, this is the qualifying lap that set us through to Q2. I'm not going to keep you on strings here and make your heart race. We got through to Q2 and we couldn't go any faster. We tried to put in a decent lap, but only managed to get to P15. That was the highest we could go. And... Um, Unfortunately for us, that's where we start on the grid. P15 is not too bad considering last week it was, oh sorry, the last race weekend last week. Like I upload that regularly. Um, yeah, we, we finished P17, so this is us going across the line. Confirmation that we got through to the, uh, the next round of qualifying and finished 14th in that. But ultimately, we finished 15. Now here is the lineups for the grid. Stage is set for another enthralling race here in the Kingdom of Bahrain. A Ferrari stronghold in years gone by, but will they be able to add to their record today? We go racing today around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit, with 15 corners and two good passing opportunities into turns one and four. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left tyre into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? Well, the throttle goes both ways, Crofty. You've got to have the discipline not to try and win the race on the first lap. So always be prepared to lift early and give those around you more space. Trying to be the last of the late breakers with half a dozen cars around you may pay off from time to time, but it's also a great way to lose your front wing. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel and Albon. Ricardo, Sainz, Perez, and Lance Stroll, Ocon, Norris, Daniel Kvyat, and Gasly, Thomas, Raikkonen, Mick Schumacher, and Roman Grosjean, Giovinazzi, Magnussen, Russell, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Well, that was nice and beautiful. Here we are on uh, the grid ready to do the uh, the formation lap obviously we want to get the tires nice and warm we want to be in a good position for this um you know opening stint we have gone on the mediums i think we're trying to do a one stop here and uh, see where we go with that but i'm not too sure what lap we're going to think about the pits i think we're thinking lap 13 maybe 14 and then from there, go to the rest on a slower set of tyres. But, uh, sorry, on a faster set of tyres. But we have to look around us. Do we think that we can honestly get any close to the points on last week? Last week we did very, very well um, in terms of getting into the points with a car that simply shouldn't be in the points. Um, we did extremely well. Obviously, Mick didn't have the same sort of fortune that we did. But you know that that's that's life. Um, you can see here me trying to warm the tires up desperately. But uh, let me know, guys, 
let me know what you think of the whole uh, F1 game. If you've played it, let me know how your career mode's going. And let me know if you're interested in this career mode. It's nice to, to be back editing, doing some videos. And yeah, I absolutely love the flat. The, um, the setup for my station is pretty solid. And when you close the window, there is literally no sound. So it's going to be beautiful making videos um, for when FIFA comes out and stuff like that. So I'm really excited for that. But here we are coming towards the end of the um, the lap and we're ready for uh, ready for the race. But as you can see, uh, we're starting off in 15th with um, this beautiful coloured car. And, you know, I'm not, not too sure how I was... Uh, how I was feeling towards the start of this one. I think I was expecting, you know, to overtake a couple of people, but you know, I'm not expecting points this race. Bahrain isn't one of my strong suits, I'd say. Um, one of the races that I actually struggle with, but you know, we'll see how it goes on when we get to the grid and we get a start. But you know, it was all about the starts in this. The starts have always been difficult on previous F1 games. Like, if you don't get a good start, you're down three or four positions from the start of the grid. Regardless of how fast your car is, you can get absolutely tanked on the front of the grid by other cars. So, we're in position. We're ready to go in this race. Um, I'm very excited. Mick, by the way, qualified two positions below us. But here we go. The lights are going off. We have five lights and we are go. So here we go. We set off really, really strongly there. We try and get in between the uh, Alpha Tories there, left and right. And we're coming up to this first corner here. And we try our best not to cause a crash. We get past one of the racing points. We're trying to go over the, um, over the curve there. We get pushed a little bit wide by, I don't know if that was uh, Ocon. A little bit of a push, but we've managed to move ourselves up. Um, to where did we get ourselves up to? We got ourselves up to 13th, I believe, but we're going around the outside here of the uh, the Renault, and we're having a little bit of a fight. But can we get round? Yes, we can. We are up to 12th position now. That is a nice little move for us. Um, great little bit of a, a fight there with um, the Renault, but we managed to get that done. I'm surprised we managed to take it uh, up the uh, the inside there. I suppose I wanted to do that. Sebastian, sorry, Sebastian. Uh, Esteban Ocon there, giving us a good fight for our money. But we managed to get around him. Uh, a massive uh, overtake for us at the start of this Grand Prix. And we're up to 12th. Now, that is a, a massive boost for us on these tyres. We need to be pushing towards the guys on the softs. And if there is a slow train, we want to be a part of it so we can stay with those on the, the softer tyres who tyres will degrade a lot quicker than ours. And obviously, we can keep going for a little bit. As you can see here, I'm messing around with um, the fuel mix. I want to be, you know, keeping close if I put it onto Rich. And I'm going to be close to these guys here. And that's going to be better for me as we go in into, you know, the, the first lap. We've, we've set off a pretty good lap, you know, three positions up from the start. Very, very happy with that indeed. Um, but now, fast forwarding a bit, we're on to uh, lap six. And... Um, yeah, here we, we've got, um, I'm not too sure who is above us. I think it's Sergio Perez. We have got Esteban Ocon just behind us. Uh, unfortunately, the preview screens for this are terribly small, so I can't quite see who's in front. I'm assuming it's Perez, and we have Esteban Ocon behind us, who's going to have a DRS, he's going to have slipstream, and he's going to absolutely tank slap us and go straight through. And yeah, he's, he's made a move. Are we going to try and fight back? We can see he's left a lot of gap around that side. You can see the amount of, uh, you know, how much he had to break there. You saw the break um, sort of dust smashing up there into the middle of the track. Um, massive, massive fight here with uh, Ocon. We're trying to go around the outside. We're trying to keep it nice and clean. And I think we retain the plays from Ocon. Here we are, I believe we're on lap uh, six again. And Ocon surely is going to try another one here. Um, we look a bit further ahead. We have a DRS ourselves somehow. But Ocon here is coming up again. He's coming incredibly fast in that Renault. And we're going to have to try and force one around the outside again. We're going to try. We're not going to try and touch him. We did extremely well there. And we're, we've already dismissed him by this corner here. Is he going to get us again? He's going to have Slipstream. He's going to have DRS. He's going to have another opportunity to overtake us here. Can he do it? We're going to 
force ourselves round the outside here to try and keep hold of that position and we do extremely well and we keep that position. We're here up to lap eight and obviously some of the first pit stops are gonna be happening. You can see uh, a couple of the cars veering right to go into the pits and at this point I decide, you know, we need to go on a rich, uh, rich energy mode. We need to push a little bit harder and try and come out in front of those who have stopped a bit early. As you can see, we're up to P5. Uh, we're later on into uh, this lap onto lap nine, and look who's behind us again. Our old friend, it's, uh, it's Ocon. Amazing uh, that Ocon's managed to get past us. We're gonna try and uh, send one past him, but I'm not sure how it's gonna go. He leaves us a lot of space again. I'm not sure why he's leaving us so much space. We're gonna try and go around the outside. He breaks a little bit, we manage to keep this fight very, very open. We're gonna leave him a bit of space on the inside there. He's gonna push us a bit wide. Is he gonna close the gap? If he closes the gap here, it's fair. He does close the gap, but we're managing to push around the outside. We're still going around the outside here. And Ocon's still with us, but we managed to retain the position. Ocon gave us far too much space there. Um, but here we are, up 10, 11. Mick Schumacher is uh, out of the race, unfortunately. Um, much of it to this point of us, but uh, Kvyat here in front. We've got a chance here to push on Kvyat, and Kvyat does close that line a little bit deeper. We um, we don't try and go around the outside, and we probably should. As you can see, our tyres are struggling a little bit. We're on to lap 13 now, and Kvyat is still in front of us. Uh, we're a lot closer this time coming up to this stage. And what I mean closer, I just mean two of a second, and it's still close enough. We're going to push around the outside. Kvyat again gives us too much space and we are through. I think we're up to P3. I'm not too sure. Kvyat's going to try one down that side, but we have the DRS. So we're going to go for that. Sorry, use the DRS and then, uh, you know, obviously come out in, um, in, <laughs> in third for the time being. But here we are, we're going through the pits and we're actually up to first position. Simplex Racing is in first. As you can see here, uh, Lewis Hamilton has given us a little bit of a run for our money and we're not going to spend our time trying to uh, race Lewis. We know that um, nothing's going to come of this. So at this point, we go a bit wide. We let Lewis pass. There's no point in fighting Lewis Hamilton at this point because we're on all the tyres. He's going to be fast. It's going to slow us down. We let him pass and just carry on with our race. We've bought, put a, a button in to box this lap. As you can see, we're coming down towards the end of this lap. I think it's lap 14. We're going to go into the pit and then push towards the end of the race. Now, other people are on two uh, stop strategy. We're on the one. Obviously now you can see us go into the pit on our beautiful mediums that are very, very warm. And we're going to go on to, I would say, I'm not too sure actually what tires we go on to here because we've got quite a lot of the, the race left. Yeah, we go on to the hard. I assumed it was gonna be the hard rather than the soft. So we don't have to pit again. And we can see what our pace is like on the hards, but we're gonna come out in P11, which isn't ideal for us, but as you can see, the cars aren't too far ahead. And hopefully by then, we uh, have the fresher tires and we can overtake. Um, fortunately for us, we got out in front of that little train just there, which meant uh, a massive, massive amount to us. But as you can see here on the same lap, we managed to get a position. Someone goes into the pit. We've gained a position there. Um, Massive for us, but here, as you can see, we're going on to the next lap and we gain another position. So we're up uh, to, I believe, P8. We get past two cars there and we're still chasing down the uh, McLaren, but they all have DRS. They're all in a little train, so it's hard for us. Uh, and then we get up to P6. We've absolutely smashed it right now. But here we are on lap 21. I believe it's lap 21. Max Verstappen, yeah, going into lap 21, Max Verstappen goes past us. We're, we're powerless for that. Max is absolutely rapid. Uh, we know that we're not going to get past him there, so we just let him go. We're sort of trying to just stay in his slipstream, hoping something happens, and, you know, uh, nothing did happen. We, we, we had to let him go. He's massively faster than us, unsurprisingly. And uh, a couple, well, I say a couple laps later, lap 25 going into lap 26, we have Alex Alwan right behind us catching us with enormous pace and he just goes round us. There's nothing we can do. He's on the faster tire in the enormously faster car. Uh, we're just hoping we can keep on to this position right now. Um, incredible fight that we've managed to make up though. We're into a uh, P8, I believe still. And we have um, 
a few laps to go, but we'll see how uh, how it goes. We're coming into um, the last lap, and we have Daniel Ricciardo right behind us now. We're in the last lap. I've tried to save a tiny bit of uh, ERS so we can use that and you know try and get to the finish line. Obviously, here I'm on low fuel. I've hardly got any left. I'm trying my best to use this while I can. You can see Danny Rick is right behind us, but this would be a massive finish for us if we can finish in P8. Um, fastest lap, Alex Albon on the last lap. And we go into high energy mode and we go past the line and we finish P8. Amazing finish for us again to get in the points. Same position as last time, but look at that. A great finish for us and again, driver of the day. I'm absolutely proud of that performance. A great performance for us and a great performance for the team. Toto Wolf is absolutely delighted. I believe that Valtteri Bottas has won the race. A good result for him. And if I'm if I'm correct, uh, did Valtteri win the first week? Um, Valtteri did win the first week. So Valtteri, two wins in a row. He's mounting the challenge on Lewis Hamilton here. He, well, not even mounting the challenge, and he's in the clear of Lewis Hamilton. Second place went to Charles Leclerc, and third, Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton would be disappointed with that. He came out in front after the first set of uh, stops. Maybe the Bottas went on a different strategy, or did Bottas not have to have a bigger stint on those tyres? I'm not too sure, but um, as we get to the next screen, I think it's going to be the podium celebrations. I hope it is. There he is. Valtteri Bottas on the top step. Absolutely deserved. They, uh, we're, we're nowhere near the Mercedes, but uh, we're not getting overlapped, which is a good feeling. And they celebrate the... Um, the one and the three and uh, obviously get the constructors points as well but I consider our weekend not so bad it's a bit poor that Mick obviously had an engine failure or something like that we have to look into that into the next race but um, an amazing result for us and uh, we're happy with Pierre we absolutely jumped up the positions there we jumped up seven positions to get where we were I hope you guys have enjoyed the, this leave a like subscribe until next time goodbye